After throwing what appears to be the haymaker herd around the world, uh, then doing a couple of them while she's grounded, and then making the front kick that was heard around the world, Sharkeisha has a bit of a following. Not a positive nor negative one, but that World Star video definitely went a little nuts. For starters, uh, there was that rumor spread that the Dark Skin Chick actually did commit suicide. Uh, don't know if that's true. Uh, wouldn't think too much of it since you already know what I think, but uh, I'm not a big fan of the slave morality or things of this nature. It is kind of weird that... <laughs> This is kind of a big deal since a lot of guys have had similar fights on World Star. But it's just the fact that this isn't a girl that's pulling hair in a bathroom for two minutes and considering that a fight that makes it kind of a big deal. The punch, the sound did connect. The sound did fucking connect. Uh. Fuck. But it wasn't a it wasn't a good punch. It wasn't a hook. It wasn't a straight. Logically speaking, if that dark skinned chick actually did look, then she wouldn't have gotten hit since she did pull her arm back. You know, like low IQ people do all the fucking time when they're about to throw a punch. They they raise that shit back like their fist is a fucking hammer or an axe or something of that nature, which it's not. A fist is a fist, and you're not supposed to pull it all the way back and then throw it, so... It was a strong punch due to its nature of it, but it's a sucker punch, and that's the only reason she got that shit. Me, personally, I'm thinking, how the fuck are you, like, if some chick is instigating on you because you cheated on her, I don't know, cheat on her man, get the fuck out of there. Under no conditions, under such a confrontation, is actually being there a good idea. Especially if you're just looking away from her, just not paying attention like you're some lobotomized monkey. Are you fucking stupid? You deserve to get shit hit, man. <laughs> when someone starts instigating and asking you questions, and I don't care how low they're speaking, I don't care how open they sound, like, the first 30 seconds, actually, people didn't expect that punch if they didn't notice the title of the video, but, of course shit got real. Because emotions can't stay grounded under such a situation, especially from low IQ females. What'd you expect? Now, I'm not saying that Sharkeisha was completely justified. I don't think justice works under the sphere of dumb dumbasses. Yeah, my adjectives are getting really dumbed down. I think I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel, but that's mostly my fault. Still kind of groggy, still kind of uninterested. But other than that, the video itself doesn't really meet my World Star fight standards. As a beatdown. It had two good moves, but it didn't knock the other person out. Didn't do any of those crazy stuff. I know a lot of people when they get heated doing World Star, especially during 2012. I think that shit was really hot. Like some of the World Star fights I saw. And I really think they should stick to the Bronx because that's where it's hot. This is Mr. Wonka Seven and. Take care of yourselves, everybody.